What are the uh, the veterans on this team telling you about this NC State robbery? I mean, of course, you know about Duke already, but um, what is the expectancy with you experiencing this uh, NC State team? Uh, just that that just telling me like um, that it's a big rivalry. Uh, that we just gonna go out here and play our hardest uh, because uh, we know what's up at stake. First ACC game, so got to come out of there with a win. So. Um, yeah, so it's just it's just they're just telling me to uh, lock in and um, that our team lead our team uh, to this win. CL, then Andrew Jones. Hey Caleb, I'm not sure to what extent you guys have already looked at the film of NC State, but they'll be probably the the uh, first team that really presses full court and for a full game possibly. Um, what what do you see as the challenges of facing a team like that? And and do you feel like there are ways to exploit, you know, a team that gets you guys going fast? Yeah, just moving the ball with the pass. Uh that we've been working on that uh, in the last practice. Uh just moving the ball with the pass and uh a lot of movement. Um so don't let the ball get stagnant. Uh don't let them trap us in a in a uh trapping spot. So uh yeah, we've been working on that in the last practice and we're gonna we're gonna work to work on that today. Do you feel like the game is slowing down for you? A lot of a lot of players, a lot of freshmen, when they come in, talk about that when they really get control of their game. Do you, do you feel like that after only two turnovers against Kentucky? Yeah, it's definitely slowing down for me. Um, just and that's just watching a lot of film. Um, because a lot of my turnovers were uh, silly turnovers, like dribbling it off, uh, dribbling the ball off my knee and stuff like that. So like just taking those silly ones out and then just trying to make every right play. Um, and then not. Uh, I was trying not to make a mistake. Uh, if you try not to make a mistake, you're going to make a mistake. So uh, just uh, being more comfortable out there playing point guard, uh, leading this team, and like I said, making the right plays, uh, everything else going to fall for itself. Andrew Jones, then Ross. Hey Caleb, after looking at the film from the Kentucky game and talking with Coach, what are a couple areas you think you made a lot of progress in? Uh, I just think my decision-making. Um, I got to get better at my shot selection on certain shots. Uh, I think I had like three bad ones. Um, but yeah, just watching a lot of film, um, he just t told me that I did uh, make progress uh, getting the bigs, the ball more, um, pushing the pace. I got to get better at that as well. Uh, just constant pushing the pace. Um, but yeah, he just said overall, I, I, I matured um, in that game because like I said, six six uh, assists, two turnovers with the it's last one. I'm sorry, is part of the game slowing down for you, instinctively doing those things more than having to think about it on the court? Yeah, like I said, I just watch a lot of film, um, watching a lot of film of myself out there, um, and then just knowing the offense. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely slowing down for me. Ross and Greg Barnes. Hey, Caleb, what do you think Curran Walton's role is on this team? I know he had a, a pretty big game, a big boost on, on Saturday. Uh, just being our shooter. Um, that's his role. He shoots the ball very well. Uh, he's the best shooter on this team for sure. Uh, just and then just keeping his confidence up. Uh, he got to do better um, on the defensive end, um, and you're gonna see a, a lot more of him. Um, and then just I'm constantly in his ear about confidence, confidently shooting the ball, and uh, he's gonna be great for us. What is he like as a person? I know Roy mentioned that he's been real quiet. I mean, can you kind of give us an insight to Kerwin as a, as a guy? Yeah, he's quiet, but when you get to know him, man, when you like get uh, talk to him outside the court. He's a funny dude. Uh, um, some people may, may say he acts like Kawhi Leonard, but uh, so, but yeah, he's a, he's a real funny dude. Like we talk, uh, we was uh, shooting last night, having uh, competitions and uh, he's laughing. Like he's a, he's a regular guy. Greg Barnes. Hey Caleb, now that you've completed the, the non-conference portion of the schedule, where do you think the team needs to improve the most entering conference play? Uh, just our starter games. Um, I think we come out uh, last game. We didn't come out with bad energy, but the the other team had just more in it, more energy than us. Uh, so just uh, our bad starts. Um, just coming out there from the jump and uh, putting two halves together. I don't think we have put two halves together yet. Um, and then just uh, executing time and situations, um, and then just knowing uh, when to when to shoot the uh, shoot the ball or when to get the uh, big guys involved. Is there a little bit of added pressure for you knowing that conference play is, is set to begin and how important how important that is? Uh, it's, it's not really any pressure. Um, I already put enough pressure on myself uh, in the beginning of the season. 
and I know what it is now. Um, I know how the game goes. I know how uh, games are gonna go. But I, I don't think it's never no pressure though, because uh, I, I I've been I've been through seven games, so um, I think I just gotta go out there and uh, be myself and um, do what coach tell me to do, and uh, well everything's gonna work out. Thanks. Time for uh, two last questions, uh, Vashti. Hey, uh, just what do you see in scouting that uh, NC State uh, backcourt? Say that one more time. What are you seeing in scouting that NC State backcourt, specifically uh, Devin Daniels? Uh, that uh, he's going to score the ball. Uh, we know that where he's going to score the ball. Um, just got to uh, contain him. And then we got to contain uh, uh, the big man, and then we'll be all right.